Yes, my Jamaican people and all my viewers all over the world. I see some people from the UK checking in. That's awesome. Canada, America, and Jamaica. See, um, I have two viewers in Trinidad. Cool. Anyway, today is Sunday, September 12th, 2021. And it's now 8 p.m. Yes, man. Um, this video is a follow-up to the video that I did last week with the police officers are afraid of going on vacation leave because they're losing their benefits. You know, when they go on vacation leave, they don't get the same pay as when you are working. So because of that, the police, they are being overworked, underpaid, and they're not going on vacation leave. You understand? But this is just a follow-up. You know, what most people do not know is that the government of Jamaica have been robbing police officers for more than a century. And I'm going to tell you how. So, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. This is Detective Porter, an experienced police officer of the Jamaica Constabulary Force who is about to educate you with facts and not propaganda or hyperbole for the government or its minion. I am not here to support criminals or their supporters. I do believe that criminals must live in fear for their lives and not law-abiding citizens. At times, whenever criminals kill police officers, I do believe in preemptive strike. I don't believe in the system that anyone who kills police officers, um, justice must be swift and just. To send a message to the criminals, you kill one of our um, law-abiding Law enforcement officer, we're gonna take strict actions and it's gonna be swift. You understand? The time for remaining silent in Jamaica is over. Most of all, I have a certain amount of disdain and hatred for thiefing police officers because they are the ones who have given the police force bad names. And the worst part about about it, they are protected by those at the top. I have seen the political directorate in Jamaica using, manipulating, overworking, underpaying, and starving our police officers for more than 33 years by not paying them per hour. Do you remember when the former Prime Minister Bruce Golden says that they're going to make sure that the police get work 40 hours per week. Yes, that was before um, America issued their um, extradition warrant for Christopher Dudusquok. I guess I don't remember any of that. Christopher Dudusquok, he was the president of Jamaica, the unelected politician. But, you know, still, the government using tricky techniques of paying them a salary. Yet, they haven't received their maximum words of what they're supposed to be getting. The police officers, they are working more than 40 hours every week. It is wrong according to international standards and norm. I am here to explain to you, young police officers, why they are robbing you blind every day. And if they were paying you guys per hour, Instead of getting paid 12 times for the year, you'll be getting paid 26 times for the year, every two weeks. Because when you get paid per month, no one, especially in a third world country, can manage and maintain that money for a month and live by. Especially in an economy where everything is valued at US currency and you do not work, you're not working US currency. You're working Jamaican currency, which is wrong. I, Detective Porter, gave a third of my life to this organization, the Jamaica Constabulary Force. And the reason why I'm here, it's my way of giving back to the people who are, to the organization itself, because it has done so much for me. It, the organization has prepared me for the world that I am living in today. I don't do this because I am not getting paid. I am not doing this for pay. I am not doing this for fame. I am just doing it for my fellow 
police officers who are there in Jamaica, who want to see a better Jamaica. But most of all, as for me, I am not here to encourage any young police officers to stay in the Jamaica Constabulary Force if you want to live a good life. Because if you notice, all the people who are being promoted, they are all political connected because that's how it works in Jamaica. If PMP is in power, you know that the top of the police, police force has to be PMP and vice versa. That's how it works. So this is my way of giving back to those who are serving and making the organization the Jamaican people proud and also their family back in rural Jamaica. Because most of the police officers in Jamaica, Constable Air Force, they are from Jam rural Jamaica. Most of them. So, as I have said, I am not doing it this for fame, recognition, or ego. It is for the police officers, the decent, honest, hard working police officers who cannot be bought by the corrupt Jamaicans. The police are the most hated people in Jamaica. Then, Dopey comes in second. That I am here fighting for to have a better life while serving in an organization that any idiot can become a celebrity in Jamaica by saying the most dubious and disgusting things about its members and the population would love the same person. That's how it is. So this is my question to the political to the political directorate of both political party the PMP LGBTQ party and the JLP LGBTQ plus party. The JLP LGBTQ plus party is the government of today, headed by St. Andrew Holiness. So this is my question. And I am going to give you all the facts. Is working 40 hours a week healthy? Yes, it is. Despite evidence that working beyond 40 hours a week is associated with poorer perceived health and even reduced productivity, many in my organization have found their hours creeping up in numbers without an end in sight. And what that sounds like, the police force. What happens if you work 40 hours per week? So this is facts now I'm giving you. The federal overtime provision are contained in the Fair Labor Standard Act. Unless exempt employees covered by the hat must receive overtime pay for 40 hours work per week at a rate less than time and a half their regular pay. So for instance, Jamaican police officer, if you were working per hour, all those police officers are doing wow. 72 hours, 82 hours, I am telling you, they're robbing you blind, big time, because you'll be getting overtime every time you work over 30 hours, you understand? But because um, there's no one there looking out for you and everybody there um, lining their pockets, so they just keep robbing you and telling you about all these benefits. But when you go on vacation leave, you're not seeing nothing. Is working 13 hours a day illegal? Yes, because we have, I, even when I was a police officer, I used to work 14 hours, the least, especially if you work at night, 14 hours from 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. the next day. You understand? Patrolling, running down um, all dirty boy, and you understand what I'm saying? All gun bag and all those things. You understand? So this is what it says now. Workers cover by working. Time regulation must not be required to work more than 13 hours per day. This is America, you know. I am telling you, um, this is from the American data. Jamaica love to portray themselves as being pro-America, so would I like that, that to be implemented in the system for the police? Also, individuals must not be necessary to work against their wishes, to work an average of more than 48 hours per week. So the hours that individual work works in a week are average out over what the term a reference period. Why is the 40 hour work week bad? We know the effect of working 50 hours a week are negative. Anything over 40, 40 hours make people less productive overall. 
So all these police officers that doing, most police officers doing more than 40 hours a week. Overworked employees lead to a high turnover, more injuries, disengagement, lower productive and more health issues, all of which will increase your workload. What happens if you work 40 hours? Well, it's, you know, you are, um, this, all this information that I am giving you is from the Department of Labor and the Jamaican politicians, elites and the human rights groups love to use American and European standards for our murders. Come now, man, use this for our police officers. Let the police officers work 40 hours per week. You understand? The salary base form of compensation requires an employer to pay covered employee a predetermined fixed amount of income that does not vary based on the employee number of hours. The salary must be based on a period no shorter than a work week. So police officers, because you're getting a salary pay, you're not supposed to be working more than 40 hours per week. Anything over that should be overtime. So they are robbing you blind. Do you think the judges in Jamaica work more than 40 hours per week and they're making, they're making good, uh, they're getting good salary that they can live uptown and send their kids to good school, but you can't because you're just above a security guard. That's how they see it. Moreover, except in a very few limited circumstances, employers must pay the salary, employ their full salary for any work week in which work is performed. And every industrial country in the world a work week is 40 hours and not 80 hours and 96 hours. The police officers in Jamaica are overworked, underpaid, and are the modern s- slaves in Jamaica for the elites, Commissioner of Police, people of Jamaica, and the government. Police officers, you are underpaid and robbed every day, every week, every month, every year by the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the powers that be because they are not paying you by the hour or for what you deserve. Instead, they are giving you a salary. That's when you get paid today, you are financially embarrassed 10 minutes after. The money is posted to your account and you're trying to figure out how are you going to survive for the rest of the upcoming month. I know that feel because I serve a third of my life there. Some of you police officers, especially the ones who will do anything to survive, are ready to do things for the highest bidder. And it does not matter the human cost will be because you are hungry, but you don't have to do what you, what you know others are doing and allow them to recruit you in the criminal gang, in the police force. I remember I was a police officer stationed at Black River Police Station, St. Elizabeth. And do you know what I used to eat sometimes for Sunday dinner? Two bullers. And I used to use condensed milk to make a little juice. Condensed milk to drink. Imagine a police officer. Big police officer on a Sunday when everybody eating them rice and peas and chicken. Because I am how many miles away from my home. You understand in St. Catherine, I have to be eating two bullets and drink condensed milk. Have something sweet to wash it down. You understand? Because I was suffering and broke, but I never forget my ethics and morality. Even when police officers at the station were encouraging me, me to do immoral things with them, and I refused. You understand? So it's all your brain. I'm telling you, it's, you know, memories. It's, you know, one of the few exceptions to the requirement that an employee pays a salary employee the entire salary for any work week in which the employee perform work and get paid for their duties, which is 40 hours each week. In the Jamaican Constabulary Force, that is not so because police officers have been working sometimes 96 hours per week to fill the void of less because of less manpower. It is the policy of the government 
that have enacted laws to criminalize the police officers and make the murderers the victim of the system. Let them figure it out, and it is time for all of you stood shoulder together to get this 40 hours of work week as in other jurisdictions. And the best time to do it is now. Stop working more than 40 hours. The guy who went to the American government begging President Barack Obama not to extradite Christopher Dudoscoke, Bruce Golden, had promised a 40 hour work week. Where is that promise? The PMP LGBTQ plus party won the election after Bruce Golden was host, um, host, hosted from office. And they did nothing to correct this problem. The PMP, you know, they got the chance to correct it, you know. Now we have Prime Minister St. Andrew Holiness, who is a human rights activist and an anti police Prime Minister, who have to give repar who have give reparation to the Rastas of Coral Garden St. James, who have killed two police officers, and the people of Tivoli who have killed many police officers over the years. Even Superintendent McDonald, who was an associate of the presidential clique. They see him on the men at Tivoli, they kill him. You understand? The time for the 40 hours is now for the police officer. Because police officer, if you were getting paid by the hour, you would be filthy rich in Jamaica. You understand? I can tell you, um, the first time when I did um, some overtime here in America, working. You understand? And I was like, wow, this is 60 hours I work. And look how much money that I was earning. You understand what I'm saying? I remember the, um, the first year I worked and with overtime and stuff like that. I, was, I worked, that was um, uh, more than 20 years. Ago. I worked over $50,000. And I'm like, man, I'm not, I, I, I wasn't even working like 80 hours per week and I am making so much money. You understand? But when I was in Jamaica, I was working um, so many hours and you understand I'm not making, I was making, like, this is crazy, man. This is robbery. You understand? So, police officer, if you do the calculation of 80 hours per week for one month, you would be getting 160 hours of overtime as the employers, employees of DNG, DNG Alcan, and other companies who pay their employees by the hours. Police officers, what the government, the police federation and the commissioner of police are doing is taking all of you for fools and slaves. Do you know that the commissioner of police, Anthony Anderson, who is not a certified police officer, is earning US $180,000 per year plus incentive and perks for him and his family? Let me refresh your memory, police officers. I'm most of you don't read enough. Do you know that the commissioner of police, Anthony Anderson, who is not, when I say he's not, a certified police officer because he had no police, no law enforcement credential. He didn't went to the police academy and train and, and graduate and get his certificate that, yes, he has done all of these things in law enforcement and he's certified. He's not. And guess what? He's earning 180 US per year plus incentives and perks for him and his family. How many police, can, how many constables earning at least 18,000 US per year in Jamaica? I would like to know that. When I was there as a senior constable, I did not break US $10,000 per annum. That's years ago. Ten, I, would, I never heard that ever. $10,000 per annum because they have been working and underpaying you for more than a century. With the pandemic on the rise, it is time to stand together and make this happen. Science says you should not work more than this number of hours a week. Working too much can be counterproductive and even hazardous to your health. You have been warned. Working more than 10 hours a day is associated with 60% jump in cardi cardiovascular issues. That means you have heart problem. You understand? 10% of those working, 50 to 60% report relationship problems. The rate increased to 30 for those working more than 60 hours 
per week. No wonder why police get so much, you know what them call it, bun. You understand what I'm saying? Police are the biggest recipients of bun. You understand? Working more than 40 hours a week is associated with increased alcohol and tobacco consumption and unhealthy weight gain in men and depression in women. Yes, you know, when you have police in a Jamaica and you work a certain place and them thing there, you understand? Honestly, for you to really cope in the system and live a normal life, you have to, you have, to have something to juice you up. Because, trust me, man, like even where I used to work in Unsby, you understand? It was a very depressed community. Do you think that, you know, you cannot just go to work and all them things there and... You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to have to beat some juice and all them things there. You understand what I'm saying? Because, trust me, sometimes you go up on some murder scene and you see some things, it's unspeakable. You understand? But yet still in the same breath, you know who, who is benefiting from the police source? The guy who sit behind, the guy who sit in an office with ear condition and him, him never yet in him life even issue a traffic ticket or go to court. Him don't even know if he take the vote when he go to court, somebody have to read it to him because his entire life, he has done no police work. <laughs> but office work, you know what I'm saying? So they're, they're station managers and all kind of crap. You know, and that's why some of the women, they are so depressed. Police women, little productive work occur after. This man, so, you know, the police women, whether or not you want to believe it, they suffer from depression, you know, just for working more than 40 hours per week. You understand? And it's not good for their health. It, you know, it causes them to, lose, to gain weight, depressed. They have low, you know, um, metab the metabolism, um, you know, dip. And they have low sex drive, too. You understand? In companies with average overtime, only 23% at absentee rates above 9%. You know, which is, that's not bad at all. But individual working 11 hours or more of overtime have increased depression. Yeah, so, you know, we have seen where, you know, some of our colleagues in the Jamaica Constabulary Force, um, you know, the past week, since I've done the video about police officers are taking vacation leave because they cannot afford to lose their benefits. You see, we're a police officer, Inspector um, Brown. You understand, Mike Brown, in know by uh, you know the man. He just got um, he, um, he had some um, some heart problem, but he just um, collapsed and died on the job. So that's how it is, you know, when you're a police officer in Jamaica. You understand, you're being overworked, underpaid, and they treat you like a slave. The only people that really benefit from the police force, you know, are the, 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 the politicians that's in the police force. So whether or not you want to believe it, the police force itself is a political organization, you know, being portrayed like it's a law enforcement entity. But in fact, it, some of the people, you know, they are law abiding citizens, but most of these people, they are political acts and activists. What we'd like to see for our members is for the 40 hour work week to be implemented. Because police officer, you are getting robbed left, right, and center by these people. 40 hours a week, anything after that is supposed to be overtime. You understand? They're paying you a salary, and if you're getting a salary, you're supposed to be still working 40 hours a week. You understand? Anything after 40 hours a week, you're supposed to be getting overtime. If you were getting paid just like all other police officers in other jurisdictions was getting where um, you're getting you would be getting paid 26 times of year 26 times for the year so it's like 13 months in a year you know so you're working one month for you most police don't even know that you know you understand what i'm saying 13 months so they design it the government is robbing you one month every year but when you go to an industrialized country like first world country like america you realize that even the security guard is getting a better wage than um, pay than you in Jamaica. So in America, a security guard is even more valuable than you 
who's there running down criminals, you understand, just, just to protect the people, life and property there, in which you, yourself, you are suffering like a dog, I should say, you know, that's just the truth. Police officer, it's time, and this is the best time now for you guys to stand up for the 40 hour work week. We have seen where this Prime Minister sent Andrew Holiness. I don't care who wants to say that I'm a PMP and I don't give a damn because I am not neither PMP nor JLP. And all of the labor right, them who want to fix that is your business, you understand. But the thing is that we have seen where this Prime Minister, before he was born, Rastafarians in Coral Gardens killed two police officers and killed three other civilians. And we have seen he apologizes to them and he has given them reparation money. You understand what I'm saying? The only reparation the police want now is 40 hour work week. It's long overdue. We don't want nothing else. We have seen where the people at Tivoli Gardens, they have killed dozens of police officers over the year, a member of the, um, the, the, the army. And we see the same prime minister along with the PMP give them reparation. All the police need, all the police need is a 40 hour work week. And the fake commissioner of police, Major Anthony Anderson, because he's not a certified police officer. So he calling him a commissioner of police because he was handed that title. That's how it is in Jamaica, you know. In Jamaica, you know that um, the way the system is so corrupt, they can't even turn, hey, don't, don't be surprised, they can't even turn um, a criminal into a law-abiding citizen. You understand? Because we have seen it, you know, where a two-time convicted drug dealer, Isaac Buchanan, one man who have been to prison two times for trafficking coke. You understand? And we see that now he's a practicing lawyer, one step away from becoming a judge. You understand? So that's why we have a commission of police because they have seen where they can, you know, infiltrate the system and do what they want because they are the elected people. Police officer. We know that the police federation is a political organization, but somewhere, somehow, you, you guys must can even find a lawyer to carry these people to court to get the 40 hour work week because there's nobody in the civil service that's working more than 40 hours a week and they don't get some incentive. They are overworking you guys, underpaying you, and treating you like slaves. Police officer, 2021 should not end without you guys getting your 40 hour work week. You have seen everything that the criminals have asked her, sent Andrew Holiness, um, Big Fat Peter Phillips, and all those guys give them. The criminals, it's time for the police to demand this. Everything the criminals demand, they have received it. It's time for the police and it's time for action and it's time is now. 40 hours per work week, anything less than that, you are still continuing to be on the conveyor belt of being slaves because they know that, you know, they, are, they, they know that they're playing your people. You understand? The time is enough is enough now. It's 40 hours per week and nothing. 40 hours. We don't want nothing more. We don't want no, no praise, no nothing from the politician. 40 hours work week for the police officers so that they can live longer. Not in time they retire. Two and three years after that they die. Like Fogarty and like O'Reilly. Um, um, stress kill him in the job as a detective. Hard-working police officer, you understand what I'm saying? We don't want that no more. We want the police officer them to work on 40 hours as every one else in the civil servant who work for the government in Jamaica. The time is now. The police have been under attack from every angle, and it's time now for somebody to start attacking the other angles of the police. Thanks for watching the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Have yourself a beautiful day. Peace. One love. All the best to all the police officers. 40 hour work week.